Hey everybody, welcome back to Satisfactory. We are back at our copper powder facility. Um, I've got one full battery of 18 foundries set up and good to go. And now we're going to set up the other 18 right over here. Yeah, looking pretty good. Uh, we are still drinking our Nuclear Dawn, which is another crazy colored beverage. And it's looking a little freaky up in here. It's just because it's like a foamy drink. So it's blended up. Uh, pineapple juice and frozen pineapple are blended up and it gets kind of foamy but it's quite tasty um, so the ingredients are pineapple juice uh, frozen pineapple blue curacao melon liqueur vodka and soda water cheers okay so I have these hooked up what I don't have are the belts connected so let's do that first. And then I, the other two at the other end, I need to hook up the power as well. So we're going to do that. And by other two, I mean the other two sets of three foundries. <laughs> yeah. Um, so one of the things... We talked about a little bit about Update 8 in the last episode, but one of the other features that they are including in update eight, which I am quite excited about, is a filter for when you are deleting items with the mass delete button. Actually, there's two, there's two update items I'm quite excited about, other than obviously the new engine. But um, yeah, so one is the, the new filter for when you're doing mass deletes. So, if I am mass deleting like that, or more, what's more likely, I'm trying to get rid of machines, and then I accidentally tag a floor bit like that, I can filter it so when I'm doing this, it doesn't hit these floor tiles, for example, or <sighs> auto save, or I can make it so like it leaves the foundries but it removes the belt. So if I'm doing this and I accidentally hit a foundry. It won't highlight, which is really nice. The other quality of life update they're installing is the ability to remove entire blueprints. So this blueprint of three foundries, all these belts, all these splitters, that's one blueprint. So there's an option to delete blueprints. If I go in, I can hit delete blueprint and it'll delete that entire blueprint and all the parts associated with it, which is it's pretty nice. I don't use blueprints that often, but when I do, I make mistakes. So it is nice to be able to uh, have that kind of thing to deal with them. Okay, so I gotta be careful here because these outputs are not all going to work. And actually, these inputs are not all going to work either, but we'll, we'll come back. So I actually need three separate batteries of six here. Because these belts can only hold 600. Okay. Oh no, not like that. So six, and there's a break. Six, and there's a break. And six. Okay, cool. Excuse me. Now, what did I say about these inputs. So this is going to be tricky. Because it's 50 copper times 18 is 900. What is the belt capacity? I'm pretty sure it's 600. 780. Interesting. Well, either way, it's not 900. So I think the way we're going to have to deal with these inputs is we'll have 12 foundries on one side connected to one mine, 12 foundries on the other side connected to one mine, and the remaining six per each side connected to one mine with a belt that splits. I think that's the best way to go about doing that. So that's what we're gonna do. What, what's wrong? Computers displeased and I don't know why okay 
Um, oh, right. Right, right, right. I need to modify this blueprint too to make these Mark II power poles. But I'm not going to. And actually, since we're doing it like that, let's just run the cable this way. Wait, what's wrong? Oh, it's because this one's already hooked up. Oh well. Too late now. That's fine. We can use these ones for the miners on or the founders on that side. It'll be great. Okay. So, are you hooked up? You should all be hooked up. Show me those yellow lights. Yes. So, I think what we'll do is we will plug these in to copper right now. Just to make sure the blueprint is set up properly before I go and do the remainder here. So the first 12, the iron belt is fine. So we'll put the iron on the bottom. The first 12 foundries are going to be on one mine, copper mine. And that should be six, yes. So I'll have to pull the other copper mine in through here. So this copper mine will come in here come this way, split here, and go off over to the other battery and split there. So that's how that's going to work. So let's do that now. Just so I don't forget. Um, don't need you anymore. Actually, we don't need you anymore either. Alright. So you... Come right over to here. Ah, my jetpack. No. Hello? Okay. Um, let's do this just to keep it neat. You know how it goes. Where's my mark? Mark five. I gotta get used to using that that wheel more. It's a pretty handy tool. Okay, I think we want to do it like that. So there we go. Okay. And you are in the middle here. So give me another splitter. Let's get rid of this belt real quick. Just so this snaps a little bit nicer. can actually be Mark IV belts. You can actually be like a Mark I belt, but I'm not too concerned about that. You do need to be hooked up, and you are all iron, right? That looks correct. Okay, cool. So this other miner, we will bring in on this side here. But before we do that, let's haul our iron belt in. Yeah. Okay. And we're going to do the same thing here. Oh. Are we going to do the same thing here? That might not work the way I was hoping. I think we're going to do this. Oh, 
Oh no, actually we're gonna do this. Yeah, I got a better idea. And that better idea looks like this. So you come here, you are my copper. You go right there. You can come on over yonder. Yes. And that is not correct. I thought I thought to make that corner that had to be back a little bit. Maybe that's not the case. Yeah, I thought this um wall connector had to be back here to make that corner properly. No, it's fine right on the edge. Okay, good to know. Ah, I was misinformed by myself. So there you go. I put you here. Nice. That doesn't look like it's slugged out. Actually, I can tell it's not slugged out because the light is not white. So that also needs to be fixed. You are also not slugged out. This is why we went on that slug adventure earlier. Because you guys need to be fully slugged out for 600. That is very important. There we go. Cool. And the next thing we need to do is the old iron iron line here. Okay. And this is on a Mark IV belt, I believe. Because it's 450. Yeah. That makes sense. Okay. So this needs to go here to line up with my existing belts, I think. Yeah, it'll be close enough. If it doesn't line up, it's fine. It's close enough. It's a long ass way, man. Okay. And you are going to go to here? Nope, that's that's very wrong. Let's try it again. Actually, I think no, maybe it's not very wrong. Maybe this <laughs> this belt is just built not in the right spot. I think that's probably more likely what the problem is. Sure, let's go there for now. We'll, we'll come back and figure it out after. Yeah, okay. So our first iron line is here, it is right here. So this should, in theory, start up these things.
<laughs> Alright. Look at him go! Okay, well, you know the blueprint works because these three are running. And there's copper plates there. Or bars, sorry. Copper bars, copper bars. Ingots. Whatever. The copper things. Cool. That is very good. That is very good. Why didn't this number go down? Oh, it's because when you use the blueprints, it doesn't subtract from this? Ah, okay. Good to know. Good to know. So when you use blueprints and you have like a queue like that, it doesn't decrease the numbers in the queue. Very interesting. Uh, this has to be like this. Yeah. No, my power. Okay, so there. Yeah, yeah, you're lined up there. I would like these in the middle. So I believe that should be good. That looks correct. Let's do that five more times. I really don't feel like I'm that far from the power. Okay. Let's do this like this, actually. Just so I don't build it in the wrong spot. Not aligned. That would be quite a shame. Oh, this isn't aligned. Oh, this one moved. Shoot, I meant that to be in the middle. So the input splitters are in the middle like this. They are not. But I'm not going back now and changing it, so well, that's how it's staying. Sure. Oh my god, autosave. I appreciate you autosave, I just wish you autosaved a little quicker. I guess there is a lot to save, so... Can't really be hating on it. I'm still gonna build one of these things out of line. I can feel it. Because the grid lines, you can see as I move it, the green snap line is all like, yeah, man, you're totally in line, go for it. <laughs> yeah, even there. Ugh. Okay. Hopefully that is good. So let's get our power hooked up so I stop losing jetpack power and now we'll get some belts hooked up. Okay. You're not running. Why aren't you running? Oh, it's just because the iron's taking a long time to get down here. That's fine. These are all going to be upgraded. Which I wish I had done sooner. Because then I wouldn't have had to do this stuff on the wall. The reason I didn't do it sooner is because I didn't have any Caterium wire on me. Or I didn't have enough Caterium wire on me. I think I had like 20. Which is not enough. Did that hook up? Okay, yeah it did. Okay, lots of yellow lights, yeah, 9, 12, 15, 18 yellow lights, ah, ah, ah. Very nice. Well, we're here, let's get these hooked up in there. Batteries of 6 here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 6. Okay. And our fancy input, which is right here. 
come right in like so. And the rest of this can be hooked up like this. Cool. Okay, looking good. One more here. All right. So we're going to imitate this. Bring this iron belt up. Hello? Iron belt? Did that just do something weird here? It looks like it built something. Weird. Maybe it didn't. Alright. So let's make sure this iron is all going where it's gotta go. I'll bring this down to the end, and if the iron is down here, then we know it's going where it's gotta go. Oh, right, this one we said we're going to leave. Right, 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 right. We're going to bring this walkway all the way out because of the, uh, the miners. I mean, not that it really matters. Yeah, whatever, I'm fine with it. Let's stick with the plan for a change. Do we have iron all the way down here? No, oh, we don't have copper all the way down here even. We do not have iron. Okay, because this belt is not hooked up. So that is understandable. That means I missed another belt too, because there's still no... Oh yeah, I missed the first belt. <laughs> yeah, there's definitely a belt missing. It is the first belt. Okay, good, good job. Oh, this is iron. This can all be... This can all be marked for. I forgot about that. I don't know if I did that on the other side or not. Right? Yeah, because it's 450. Yeah. That's correct. That's correct. Okay, cool. Iron. Okay, it does make its way down. It's just going to take a little while to fill those. Uh, so these belts can also be... Although I'm going to run out of encased beams. Okay, let's just not worry about it then. Alright. Are you guys making copper for me? You're not. Because you're still waiting for iron, right? Is that the issue? What if I give you 47 iron? A. You've all got belts. You've got two iron. Yeah, these are just... We just gotta wait for these to back up. Okay, everything's fine. No need to panic. Last thing. This last miner. 
The loneliest miner. She's way over yonder. How do I want to deal with this? Probably like this. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Not like that. Like this. Yeah. Okay. Can I go down? All right, thank you. That was confusing. Belt is too long, you say. I also gotta make sure this one's slugged out. It looks like it is. Ooh, but not all the way. There we go. Ah! You stay away, jerk face. Okay. I think... We have done a copper thing. Have we, in fact, done a copper thing? Oh, looks like it. There they go. All right, sweet. Looking pretty nice. So that should be, <laughs> dare I say, if my calculations are correct, 36 copper, 3600, very big difference, 3600 copper ingots per minute, which will eventually get crunched down into 600 copper powder per minute, if my calculations are correct. <laughs> and that is going to be done, uh, that's what I want to do. That is going to be done upstairs here. In a constructor, 50 per minute. Wow. So. Three hundred copper ingots per minute, fifty copper powder per minute. So we only need twelve constructors. So I think what we're gonna do to justify there being six railway cars on this train is we're just gonna load up these copper bars and call it a day. I think that's what we're gonna do. Um, that might mean reworking these belts a bit. But we'll load up each car, freight car, with copper belts and then we'll turn it into copper powder over at the platform. Which means we're kinda done with this building. Yeah. That seems like a good idea. So maybe the next episode what we'll do is we'll get that, those new belts plumbed in. We'll throw a roof on here. Do I have enough resources to do a roof? Uh, maybe. Maybe. We'll throw a roof on here. We'll get those belts fed into the train. We'll finish off the railway tracks. We haven't done that. And then we'll take everything back to the main platform. So that's the plan for next episode. 
until that time thank you so much for watching i really hope you enjoyed if you did please give us a like and subscribe helps us out a lot we will see you next time cheers